This week's On Story, the award-winning producer behind The Terminator, The Walking Dead, and Aliens, Gail Ann Hurd. I realized my strengths were helping to bring a shared vision to life and that my job was being a facilitator and uh, a godmother. Sometimes I had to be the drill sergeant and it was, it was literally wearing a lot of hats. In this episode, Gail Ann Hurd takes audiences through her career, beginning as an assistant for the legendary Roger Corman to working with James Cameron to producing numerous sci-fi classics. In 1978, when I went to work for Roger Corman, it was the one place in town where Roger looked at women as, as having unlimited potential. So I thought I was going in for an interview to be his secretary for life. <laughs> That's the aspirations that we had um, at the time. And in the very first interview, he said to me, um, I, I like practiced my typing. And for those of you old enough, shorthand, which most of you probably never heard of. Um, and he didn't ask me about any of that. He said, what do you want to do for the rest of your career? And I said, I, I, I want to produce. Um, I, I realized that <laughs> that was probably the, 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 the best thing for me to do. And, uh, and so under Roger, you did everything. Um, he had women directing, he had women writing, he had women editing, he had women art directors. Uh, so I, I saw a Hollywood that really doesn't even exist now which is sad, which is a really sad commentary on the fact that this was 1978 and things haven't changed. Um, but uh, for Roger, it was completely equal opportunity. And I actually think he favored women, um, mainly because we, work for, we worked for less. We still work for less. <laughs> and um, we are more tenacious and, and actually, I think, and he felt a lot more loyal. Um, so, um, so the other thing that, that I did for him is we would have to write short uh, plots that could potentially be turned into films because Roger, unlike most producers, originated almost every idea that was pr produced at his company. So all of us in his very small company had to do everything. So we learned how to come up with plots. We learned how to write treatments. We learned how to write and rewrite scripts. We learned how to cast. We learned how to location scout. We learned the post-production process. It really was the best possible film school. if you want to live. <laughs> Come on! Let's jump a little bit ahead to Terminator because you actually co-wrote Terminator. At the time, especially coming out of that place, is that what encouraged you to decide to write this script? Uh, well, Jim, um, I met Jim through uh, working at Roger Corman's because he was building spaceship props uh, in the model department of a movie called Battle Beyond the Stars, which is Roger's homage uh, to Seven Samurai. The initial idea uh, came to Jim when he was very ill and uh, working in in, I believe it was Rome, I know it was Italy, uh, in post-production on Piranha 2, The Spawning. <laughs> Probably the one Jim Cameron title you haven't seen, <laughs> Saltwater Piranha That Fly. <laughs> and just as an interesting side note, um, the it, Greek Italian producer, Ovidio Asinidis, kept trying to fire Jim because he really wanted to direct it himself. Um, and Jim just wouldn't, wouldn't allow himself to be fired. Um, and then he locked Jim out of the editing room. And this is back when we edited on film. So it's not like a computer where you could save different versions. And Jim, once again, I wasn't there, but Jim said that he would break into the editing room every night <laughs> and re-edit the film. 
Um, but he got very, very sick, and, uh, and in a fever dream, the image of the, you know, sort of anodized endoskeleton of the Terminator emerging from the flames came to him. Thank <laughs> you. 